Let's go to page 466. This is lesson 7.5. This lesson is to apply the tangent ratio. Okay, so a trigonometric ratio is a ratio of the length of two sides in a right triangle. You will use trigonometric ratio to find measure of a side or an acute angle in a right triangle. So you have a right triangle and you have two legs and a hypotenuse. So the legs are the one that that is uh, is uh, touching the right angle. Okay, hypotenuse is the one that opposing or the facing the right uh, right angle. So it says the ratio of the length of the leg in a right triangle is con uh, is constant for giving angle measure. This ratio is called a tangent of the angle. Okay, so the so the name tangent is a ratio of the two legs or two sides. And here's a, here's a definition. Okay, so tension ratio. They triangle ABC, so triangle ABC, and by the way, you, it, normally you want to put a C for the right uh, angle, so that C will be the hypotenuse. So that way you have a A squared. So when, when, when you're naming the side, you use a small a for the side that's facing the angle A. Use a capital letter for angle, so that capital letter for A, B, A, B, C. So those are three angles. So there's angle A, angle B, angle C. So this side is facing the angle A. So this side would be the side A. And this would be side B. So small b for the length and they're facing the, the angle B. And, and so this would be the side C facing the, the angle C. So keep that. You don't have to, but normally that is how it's done so that it's less confusing. Okay. Okay, so, so that triangle ABC be a right triangle with acute angle A, and tangent of angle A is written as, an, as defined as follows. Okay? So tangent, again, tangent is a, the name of the, the ratio. And that, the name of the ratio is the opposite side, or opposite, the, the length of the leg, opposite angle A. So that is this one here. Okay? Opposite means the one is facing the angle and it's not touching the angle. Adjacent is the one that's touching. So again, adjacent means next to the angle means touching the angle. Oppo opposite means does not touch, okay? Again, we're talking about leg. we, legs. We're not talking about hypotenuse. So tension A, okay, so a tension of angle is, tension of any angle is opposite of adjacent. So that's a definition you need to memorize. Okay, let's go to page 467. Okay, complementary angles in the right triangle, angle A and angle B are complementary so that you can use the same diagram to find tension of angle A and tension of angle B. Okay. So notice that the leg adjacent to angle A is the leg opposing angle B. Okay. So again, the, the thing to remember is adjacent is touching the angle that, you, that is in the, in the ratio. Okay, and the side, the leg that does not touch is the opposite. Okay, so just remember, very important. Okay, so over here, example one, find tension S. So here's your reference angle, okay, and tension R. Write each answer as a fraction and as a decimal, run it to four places. Okay, so, so tension S means this is your angle that you're looking for. Okay, remember, definition of tension is opposite, over adjacent. So tension of S would be 80 over 18. Okay? okay so again, opposite is RT. Okay? Adjacent is ST. So again, opposite is the one that does not touch the angle. Adjacent is the one that touching the angle. Okay. okay. So again, so you're going to get 80. Again, opposite over adjacent for the angle S. Okay? And so that's a fraction, 40 over 9. And if you calculate divide, you get 4.4444. Right, four decimal places. Now tangent R, tangent of angle R, now here's your reference, okay? So definition of tangent is opposite over adjacent. So in this case, it's gonna be ST or uh, ST over RT. Again, opposite over adjacent, so it'd be 18 over 80. Equal to nine over 40, equal to 0 0.2250. And notice that reciprocal of each other, okay? Okay. 
Now let's go to example two. Find the value of x. Okay. So again, when you have two legs right away, that's your you have to use definition of the use of ratio of tangent. So tangent of 32 degrees, so tangent 32, right, is equal to opposite over adjacent. So opposite is the one that does not touch. Adjacent is the one that's touching the angle. Okay. So tangent of 32 is equal to opposite over adjacent. So, so tangent of 32 equal to 11 over x. So you cross multiply. So you get x times tangent 32 equal to 11. Then you divide both sides by tangent of 32. Okay. And then you have to use your calculator. So on your calculator, you have to depends on the calculator. Different calculator have different key sequence. Okay. So for this one, you just going to enter 11 divided by tangent of 32 degrees, okay? And make sure that the, the, the calculator is in a degree more, it's a DEG. If it's not, then you got to change into that, okay? So you can actually work through the problems, okay? If you need help with calculator, you just have to, you know, let me know, and I will come and help you with your calculator, okay? But basically, you have to be familiar with your calculator because, you know, different model of calculator have different key sequences, different way of setting it up. Okay, so anyway, so for this calculator, to enter that, you go 11. So you enter 11, and you divide it by, and tangent the 32. So over here, see, that's a sine, cosine, tangent. So this one, we're going to cover that in the next two lessons. Okay, so don't worry about this too. Yeah. So right now, it's tangent. So divide by tangent of 32 and degrees. Just to be safe, I'm going to push the button over here. So this is degree right over here. Okay. And closing parenthesis, so that's your tangent of 32 degrees, okay? And you push equal, okay? And one, so you get 17.6. And uh, there's a, so it doesn't say how many decimal places. So in this case, they just go and, you know, just use 17.6, okay? Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next page. Okay, estimate height using tangent. Okay, so what we're doing right now is the, the ratio of tangent is part of the trigonometry ratio. The trigonometry is very useful. It's used to measure anything that you cannot measure directly. Okay? So it says find the height h of the lamp post to the nearest inch. So you have a post over here, and it's kind of difficult to just go and get the measuring tape to measure the height, right? So in this case, you can use a trigonometry, okay? So once you get an angle and all that, then again, so you have this triangle, and this is 70 degrees, okay? So again, whenever you have two legs, right away, that's how you know you have to use the, um, you have to use the tension. So you can write down your formula, write down your, your ratio. So tension of 70 is equal to opposite over adjacent. So opposite is the height, adjacent is 40. Okay, again, remember, opposite is the one that does not touch. Uh, the one that does not touch the angle. Adjacent is the one that's touching the angle. Right? Adjacent means next to it, right? So adjacent means the one that's next to the angle, so that's the one that's touching. Okay, so you can now substitute, and you can use your math, cross multiply. So you get 40 times tangent of 70 degrees equal to h, and use your calculator. Okay, so make sure you know how to use your calculator. Make sure you be familiar with your calculator. Okay, so it's 40 times tangent of 70 degrees. So 40 times tangent of 70 degrees. Okay, make sure you close the parenthesis and push equal. And this will give you 109 point, again. So if you run off to 110, that's fine, okay? It does not, if it doesn't say, then it doesn't, so it's kind of judgment call to, you know, how many decimal place to run it off to. Okay, so anyway, the book have 109.9, okay? So because the 9 goes up, yeah? Okay. Let's go to example 4. Okay, use a special triang right triangle to find a tangent. Okay, so you have this triangle. Okay. Now, whenever you have right triangle, okay, when it's 60, right? Remember, we covered this. this so make sure you know your special triangle. So this is 60, this is 30. 
So it'd be one, two, square root of three, right? Again, so this is, make sure you know your 30, 60, 90 spatial triangle. Make sure you know your 45, 45, 90 spatial triangle. Those are probably the most single, the single most important thing, okay, in geometry, the spatial triangles. Okay. So from tangent of these, so tangent of 60, okay, so you draw a triangle with a 60 degrees, and because this is 30, 60 spatial triangles, so you, you label one, two, square root of three. So tangent of 60 is opposite of adjacent, so it would be square root of 3 over 1, and that's your answer. Okay. Now normally, unless it tells you to do it, normally you leave it in a square root. Okay. This is the exact answer. This is approximation. So normally you want to get exact answer unless you know, there's a reason to get approximation.